the National Football League, and we've got a much-anticipated rematch of last year's NFC title game. It's the Eagles and the 49ers, and it's coming right up on EA Sports. We are about 40 miles or so south of Candlestick Point at a place that first opened back in 2014 as you get a look at Levi Stadium here in Santa Clara, California. Today it is the opener of the 2024 NFL season as it'll be the Philadelphia Eagles taking on the San Francisco 49ers. With my good friend Charles Davis in the booth, I'm Brandon Gauden, and the moment has finally arrived, CD. It's time to begin a new NFL season. Party, there's no hiding my excitement as I got ready this morning. I could not wait to get here for this game. Imagine what it's like out there on the field for those players, though. OTAs, training camp, preseason, has all led to this moment when they officially kick this one off to get the season underway. The kicker, Jake Moody, has got it teed up. And we are underway now from Santa Clara. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Philly's offense getting ready, and Jalen Hurts ready to lead them. The second-round pick who started his career at Alabama then finished with an electric senior season at Oklahoma. Tremendous production in college at two different universities, and this is a guy who was a finalist for the Heisman Trophy. Still much more of a runner than a thrower, but has plenty of arm and is capable of making the big throws downfield. And don't underestimate his ability to think the game. Remember, he's the son of a coach. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Calling no gain on the game's first play. And it's second down now. Play action. Here's Hurts. He completes this to Russell Gage. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and ten. And maybe the wrong read there as he's going to go down immediately. So a step in the wrong direction. Now they'll look to make amends on second and 14. Off the play fake. Here's Hurts. A nice little juke. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Give him seven there on the tuck and run. And they're in better shape now for third. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. They go play action with Hurts. They'll roll him out right. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. Hurts dangerous when he runs that football. He's got a first. Off the option, he'll try and run with it. And holding it may be the wrong decision as he stopped at the backfield. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. Here's Hurts to throw. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. Touchdown, Philadelphia. DeAndre Swift, 33 yards. And the Eagles are on the board here first in the season opener. Excellent start there. First drive of the season. Big time success putting it in the end zone. And remember, that was done without any real map of how to do it. In other words, the deeper you get into the season, you get game film to work off of, tendencies to work off of. The first drive of the season, things can be entirely different than what you've seen in the past. It's a really good job of execution by them. Elliott good with a PAT, and that makes the score 7-0. So the drive winds up going 75 yards in seven plays, and it was capped off by an Eagles touchdown. And this taken in at the goal line. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. So here's the first drive now for the 49ers. And they'll be led out by their third-year quarterback. This week, such an important one for his entire offense, but for him especially. He wants to start this new season off strong. He's got big plans for this year, wants it to be one where he finishes among the league's best while leading his team to the postseason. 
A strong opening week is a great start to that and can create momentum that carries over not just to next week, but the next few weeks as well. And rising tide raises all ships. And if he can start the season off strong, his offense will benefit. The big play to start him out has him at the 45 already. First carry for Christian McCaffrey. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. Well, no slow start here. A couple of nice chunk plays back-to-back. -back. I love the momentum that they're showing here early because they did it both ways, right? Threw the ball on first down for a nice chunk of yardage. Came right back and ran the ball. Looks like they got the defense set back on their heels. Let's see if they can keep this moving. A first down there on a pickup of 25. Here's Purdy. So he'll be stopped here for no gain, and it'll be second down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. They'll set up the screen to McCaffrey. Give him five on the screen play, and that'll set up a third down. The key to any screen play is all in the deception. And that means everyone on the offensive side of the ball. But someone gave it up because that one wasn't very well concealed. And the defense able to rally to him and hold him for just a short game. Purdy now to throw. Touchdown for the Niners! Debo Samuel, a 16-yard touchdown. And the Niners respond to that opening drive touchdown with one of their own. A nice connection there, finding his target, and that'll put six up on the board. Just like they drew it up in their playbook and reiterated it on the sidelines, right? Perfect route, a good throw, and the defense, they had no answer for that right there. Jake Moody now for the point after. And he starts his new year off on the right foot as well, as this kick is good. So that drives six plays, 75 yards. And it's Debo Samuel who caps things with a touchdown reception. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. So back onto the field, here come the Eagles for their second drive. They were successful last time finding the end zone on their opening drive of the season. And they'll get another shot here with a first and 10. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. Burt sets up to throw it. He'll get this one complete. That's A.J. Brown. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 46. Swift going to try up the middle. And great blocking downfield as he's got this almost to the 35-yard line. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Throwing his hurts. And down he goes. They sack him back right around the 41-yard line. That is Nick Bosa from out on the edge who worked his way in for the sack. Protection certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. Hurts. That's caught by the big tight end, Dallas Goddard. And he is out of bounds right around the 10-yard line. A gain of 32 that time. So now following the big play, they've got a first and goal all the way down at the 10. They'll drop the throw. That's caught at the three. A gain of seven that time, second goal. These two teams all tied after one. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Eagles in possession. They'll go again from the three here on second and goal. As they've got it as we resume action. On second and goal, here's the option. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. They'll wind up getting three on the keeper there, but it leads to a third down. He'll be 
Hurts on the option. And he's in for an Eagles touchdown. It's a one-yard touchdown run, and the Eagles have taken the lead. Well, I'd have to say that for him, that was an all-encompassing drive because it was his arm that got his team down to that point, but his legs that finished the deal. Give him credit for making it happen. Elliott now to add the extra point. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. So that drive goes eight plays. The result, Philadelphia in the end zone. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. Thomas barreling ahead. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. Their quarterback leading this offense back out. He was 4-4 four four on that opening drive, including the touchdown pass. As he'll try again here to duplicate that success, starting with a first down. And he'll scratch out only about a yard up to the 32. It's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Now he's got McCaffrey open, complete. And he is going to lose yardage here. It'll be a loss of four yards on the play. And that'll make it third and 13. And not an easy spot here. They'll be in search of 13 yards to try to pick up the first. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. That's going to be caught by Samuel. And they work this well upfield across the 35. A big play there as they get the conversion on third and 13. Purdy to throw it on first down. And returns it right back to Samuel. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. From the 46, here's a second down and four. Now an option play, and he'll keep it. That's going to go down as a loss of five, and it brings up third down. Pretty good job there defensively of stringing that one out. Yeah, you've got a quarterback who's waiting and waiting for something to develop. And it just never materialized. And down he went behind the line of scrimmage. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Buried for the sack by big Jalen Carter. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense. So he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. So on fourth down, here's the Australian native Mitch Wisnowski to punt this one away. Rodgers to return it. Call that a 44-yard punt, five on the return. And it will be Eagles football first and ten. Now Philadelphia ready to get going on offense again. So for this offense, Charles, remember drive one made it to the end zone. Drive two resulted in a touchdown as well. Now they'll try to make it three for three. Yeah, and you know, they told us all week that this was the plan and this is what they wanted to execute. But did they really believe it would happen this well, this efficiently? I know they'll take it. And afterwards, they'll say, there was never a doubt in our minds we were going to be successful in this one. Second down. Here's Hurts. That is caught. It's the tight end, Goddard. Look at the big fella go. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Dallas Goddard, 69 yards. And the Eagles are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. So, Charles, that's three touchdowns on three drives, and it's just been an offensive barrage so far. Great word, partner, using barrage right there. I'm going to add another word if you don't mind. How about perfection? No surprise that they're leading right now. Absolute dominance throughout this ball game and no signs of slowing down. Elliott on for the extra point. It's good, and it is now 21 to 7. 
That drive started on their own 25. Two plays, 75 yards later, into the end zone. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The 49er offense now making their way out onto the field. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. Call it a gain of a yard, and it's second down. Now Purdy. He'll get this into the hands of Ayu. And he gets this one just shy of the 30, down at the 39. First catch of the new season for him, and he picks up the first. Purdy. Oh, and that is incomplete. That right there, his first incompletion so far in this game, Charles. He was 9 of 9 before that. Yeah, I think that qualifies as being locked in. And then you have to ask him the question, so what caused the incompletion? Come on, man, get back on your game. Let's go. Again, it's Purdy to throw it. Oh, he'll look downfield for Kittle. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Now, right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. Got a man right side, it's McCaffrey. And he is not going anywhere. He will not even get back to the line of scrimmage as the clock will stop at the two-minute warning. Wisnowski on to punt as he sends this one away. Rodgers on the return. A 46-yard punt, eight yards on the return. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and ten. From the gun, it's Hurts. Buying time to his left. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. No surprise there. Chase Young wrecks that play with a sack. Now following the sack, they'll come up here on a second down and 12. He's going deep for Brown. And this will be caught at the 30. A big play there for Philly. 64 yards. I'll tell you what, this is not going to be a fun discussion at halftime for this defense. They've been absolutely taken advantage of in the first half. And here's another play for big, big yardage. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. This offense in midseason form here in the opener. It's first and ten. They run out of the gun with Swift. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. DeAndre Swift already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Eagles are looking good here in the season opener as they're able to extend their lead. Well, that was a quick drive. The passing game set it up, and then the running game finishes it off. And how about how few plays it was to get it done, but they drew it downfield and then pounded it into the end zone. And as a former defender, I can tell you, it hurts just a little bit more when they run it into the end zone instead of throwing it. Elliott good on the extra point and a lead down to three touchdowns at 21. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Well, the Niners going back on offense now late in this first half. And Charles, you're down multiple scores, less than a minute left here. But with that deficit, they've got to try to at least work their way into field goal range to try to muster something out of this drive. And I'm going to go ahead and date myself one more time because I'm going to quote an old Smokey and the Bandit lyric. They've got a long way to go and a short time to get there. But they still have time to get it done. So I'm looking forward to watching them mount this drive and see if they can get some points out of it. Purdy looking to throw on first down here. 
This one caught by Kittle. And now the Niners going to signal for their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Now on first down, it's Purdy. Touchdown! Brandon Ayuk, a 22-yard touchdown grab. And the Niners get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. Well, that touchdown certainly helps, but they've got to go ahead and convert, get to the half, and figure out how to keep chopping down this lead in the second, don't they? Yeah, they still need to regroup, and they still need to end the second quarter strong. A little bit of time left. Purdy and the Niner offense, they'll stay on the field. They'll try to go for two here. They'll look to throw. That's caught at the two. And he's going to get in. So they're back within 11. He hits the big target for the two-point try. <laughs> Defenses hate those guys, especially around the goal line. It's hard to decide who you're going to put on him. Are you going to put a smaller corner on him? Are you going to put a safety who doesn't have maybe the same coverage skills? How about a linebacker? He may have the size, but he's not used to really covering in space. That's why the tight end gives you such a great advantage when you're throwing the football. The Eagles offense is going to take over late in this first half. Already enjoying a two-score lead here late in the second quarter. Not a ton of time left. We'll see if they can work this at least into field goal range and try to get three to add on even more to their lead. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go before halftime. And he's going to have the hook up to Gage. The Eagles will take their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. But first down, Hurts. And that's out to the flat for Swift. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. 12 yards is the pickup. Good for an Eagle first down. They'll throw now on the final play. And this is caught. It's Brown. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. So we've reached halftime here on opening weekend. As we send you cross-country to Orlando, Jonathan Coachman is there and has our EA Sports halftime report. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome back to football, everybody. We've got a full slate of 16 games here to start the new season. So let's take our first trip around the NFL. We'll start up at MetLife Stadium in New Jersey, and it's the Jets who are out in front in that one. Brees Hall with a touchdown run. From there, let's head west to see what's going on with the Raiders at home in Las Vegas. And you can see, currently they trail in that ball game. Jamar Chase with a touchdown reception from Joe Burrow. Lastly, we head to Southern California to check on the Rams at home at SoFi Stadium. As you can see, the score there in the second quarter. Marquez Valdez-Scantling, two touchdown catches on the afternoon. We watched a solid performance out of running back DeAndre Swift. He found the end zone twice, once on the ground and once in the passing game, as he proved he's anything but a one-dimensional running back. It's a new season, so both of these coaching staffs likely making plenty of adjustments after their first half of football. So for the call of the second half here in week one, we go back to Brandon and Charles. All right, coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. We'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. The 49er offense set to go to begin quarter number three. And this offense, Charles, had a strong first half throwing the football, at least in terms of yardage, but that hasn't translated so far on the scoreboard as they begin the third quarter here trailing and looking for a little momentum. Yeah, you're right about that because, you know, let's face it, in the first half, most of their focus was in the passing game. And to their credit, resulted in a healthy amount of yardage. So I would think that at halftime, 
They're going to anticipate that defense loosening up a little bit to try and cover the passing lanes. They've got to get the running game going, and there should be some gaps to run through now. Tackle there by Big Jordan Davis. So from the 37, here's a second and eight. Purdy looking to throw. Over the middle, complete to Samuel. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he get a good head of steam down. And he's going to have a Niners first down as they're able to convert on third and short yardage with a gain of four. Purdy now to throw. Completes it to the tight end, Kittle. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. The Niners passing game in sync now. They've got another first down. Up the gut, McCaffrey. Nice footwork at the 25. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. Stay on the ground. McCaffrey again. Oh, fine work there as he gets this thing down to the 11 yard line. Back to back, nice plays. 12 yards that time and a first down. McCaffrey running up the middle. And after the good game last play, this time they say, uh uh, as he's going to be stopped behind the line of scrimmage. Well, this has been a good march down the field, but now they're stuck looking at a second and 14. Play action, and now here's Purdy to throw it. Steps away. All in all, no gain on the play, and it'll bring up third. He certainly did his best to find something on that run, but there just wasn't enough time to make it happen. Nice effort there, avoiding the sack and getting back to the line of scrimmage. That one certainly could have ended up worse. Purdy with it on third and long. Flushed out right. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. His back has been a dependable safety valve all game, so he went back to him when his first read was covered. Just unable to connect, so the play results in no gain. And this one is right through. And that gets him back within 10. So they were facing the deficit coming out of the locker room at intermission, and at least they're able to get the field goal to cut into that deficit. Yeah, now your offense feels pretty good about itself, right? A little bit more up to speed coming out of the break. You turn to your defense now and say, hey, we got three there. We're chipping into the lead. Can you help us out? Hold them. Let's get the ball back for us. So here are the Eagles now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. They have played so strongly. You look at the scoreboard, you, you probably, with the way they played, you would think the margin would be a lot bigger, right? You would. And in your experience, how many times have we run into coaches where they've talked about, hey, we just want to put it in the hands of our defense and have them win the game? In this case, yeah, not, the case. not at all. You want to put it in the hands of your offense, but you always feel better about seeing defense because you think defense is a constant and offense kind of comes and goes. Today, <laughs> this game, no, they need their offense to stay on a really hot level. They've been hot so far. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to shoot for. Here comes third down at seven. Hurts. He's got his target. That's complete. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. Altogether, a pretty shaky start to the year for this defense as they defend another first and ten. Play action. Here's Hurts. And this one is incomplete. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball. But he was unable to get away from the defender. Couldn't create space. Couldn't uncover at the end of the route. And that one winds up incomplete. And he's brought down. That his first catch so far. They've held him under wraps, but he's got a first down there. They will run straight ahead with Swift. 
And a good job of finding the open space to run as he's down close to the 30 here. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and 10. Off the play fake. Here's Hurts. Blitz coming and down he goes. They bring the safety on the blitz and he busts through to drop him for an eight-yard loss. Remember, they had the nice gain on the previous play, but they just gave a lot of it back right there on that sack. Yeah, they get the sack, get back some real estate. Felt like the type of play that could spark a defense and swing some momentum. Almost felt like a take that type of a play, didn't it, partner? Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. Throwing right, and that's complete. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Russell Gage, 39 yards. And the Eagles will add on to their lead here in the final minute of the third. That drive that really increased their cushion felt very military to me. Very precise, methodical, that's one of the words you've taught me. And they just got it done. And slowly but surely now, starting to pull away a little bit. Things looking good for them here in the third quarter. Not only pulling away, but you mentioned that slowly but surely. You also drain clock, too, with a drive like that. So you really give yourself an advantage. Elliott good with a PAT. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Taken at the goal line. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. As San Francisco's offense returns to the field. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. Back now here in Santa Clara. It's 49er football, but some ground to cover. They find themselves behind as we hit the fourth and final quarter. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense are just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 38. They'll set up the screen to McCaffrey. And they're able to get this one past the 30 down to the 25. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. Purdy sets up to throw again. He's going to drop this down to McCaffrey. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. Here's Purdy on first and 10. Batted at the line, but he's still brought it in. And they go the wrong way here. Knocked back to the 20. So it goes as a completed pass, but they lose a full five yards. Purdy will set up to throw it here. Eluding the pressure right. And he just chucked that one out of bounds, out of everyone's reach. Maybe a wise call not to take a sack in this part of the field. It brings up third down. Well, I kind of got to give him credit. Another incompletion there, yes, but he's still trying to make plays outside the pocket. Yeah, he's been hemmed in for much of the game. How about him getting outside there? And that's what you want to see from your quarterback. He's not giving up on this game, so every other player in the field has to say to him, Touchdown, 49ers! George Kittle, halfway to 100 now with career touchdown number 50. And the Niners have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. So a little bit of a letdown there defensively. I mean, look, you're still two scores to the good, CD, but things may be a little more uncomfortable than they had hoped. Yeah, if you kept them out the end zone there, this game's over. You've locked the door on them. Instead, it's still open a little bit, and they've got a puncher's chance. Purdy and the Niner offense, they'll stay on the field. They'll try to go for two here. They'll try and throw for it. And they're going to get the two. It's caught. 
So they get the conversion, and now we're back to a one-score game. So following the touchdown, here's Moody back out to send it away. The drive will start at the 25-yard line here as Rodgers will not return it. Wide receiver A.J. Brown, you see he and the rest of his mates returning to the field here. And I know that they've double-teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen it? And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. Javon Hargrave, the deep tackle, getting the sack. A CD, a little bit of feast or famine for him. He's had some success throwing the football, but also now he's been sacked four times. Yeah, you just mentioned the four sacks, but you're right. He has managed to hang in there and make plays at times. His offensive line, they've got to figure it out and pick things up and give him more opportunities. And he has to help them by getting rid of the ball a little bit quicker as well. This will be a gain of about eight to the 27-yard line. This offense so far on third down, a perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. This is third and eight. They go play action with Hertz. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Throwing from the gun, it's Hertz. This one complete down the field to Goddard. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. Here's Swift. They'll get this halfway home from the eight to the four on a gain of four. As long as you've been the air attack that's gotten them down here, but now is where you start to lean on that running game. That's a good pickup there on first and goal. Swift again, and this time he'll run into a wall right at the four-yard line. Call it no gain that time, and now it's third and goal. A big play if you think about it right now in this season opener. It's third and goal. Hurt sets up to throw it. And this is going to be caught. No, they say it's incomplete. To give you an idea of how accurate he's been throwing the football, we're in the second half. That's just his second incompletion. Well, if he's that locked in, that means everyone's locked in because to me it's like throwing a no-hitter in baseball. The pitcher may get the credit, but a lot of people making plays behind him in the field. So after five touchdowns offensively, hey, maybe it's time to get the kicker a little work and he's able to connect there. I love that empathetic side of you. You're worried about him getting some action, getting to be a part of the game. Well, he got in and got it done. So Purdy and the Niners down by 12. 2.01 remaining. They'll have one play here just north of the two-minute warning. That ball caught. Brandon Ayuk. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Throwing Purdy. And it's knocked away and incomplete. When you're leading in the final quarter, your radar has to be up for any potential deep shots. And probably not the last one they're going to see in this game, not as long as they hold this lead. To throw is Purdy. Got a man right side, it's McCaffrey. And they'll get this to the 30-yard line before crossing over out of bounds. Clock management, definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores. Want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. This will be caught at Samuel. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. Purdy to throw. And it's intercepted at the goal line. It's N'Kobe Dean with a pick. And the Eagles are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. Well, I mean, field goals probably aren't going to cut it at this point. This was touchdown or bust, and unfortunately for them, it turned out to be bust. Yeah, they're feeling like they've got to force the issue here, maybe take some chances they wouldn't have earlier in the game. But give credit to this defense. They've really stood tall throughout, and they come up with the interception in the end zone. 
We've got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. On third down, here comes Swift. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. Here's Thomas. A very nice punt that time, but they get 11 back on the return. And the Niners will go on offense first and 10. Here's first and 10. Here's Purdy. This one caught by Kittle. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Here's first down. Here's Purdy to throw. And he'll dump this off to his running back, McCaffrey. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. Purdy to throw. And that'll be incomplete with just six seconds left on the clock. With no timeouts left, that's a dangerous proposition working in the middle of the field. Fortunately for them, that one fell incomplete. Again, it's Purdy to throw it. And he is into the end zone for the touchdown. So they still need a miracle. Well, the clock where it's at, but they get one piece to the puzzle done. Still have hope. Problem for them, they needed that score with a little more time left on the clock. I think we're just too little too late now. I would agree with that, and we're programmed never to say never. But in this case, we're asking a lot for them to even think they have a chance. So this likely just to get the final score a bit closer given the time remaining, but they'll have a go for two here. Purdy with one final shot here. That's caught. And they're going to get the two. It's caught. And the lead is cut to two here in the corner. So with just a few ticks left, they need a miracle. And the Eagles are going to recover. And that might be enough to put a bow on this one. Well, this was a good one. Excitement all the way to the end. You had the points, and then they were hoping for the miracle there on the onside kick. Couldn't get it recovered, and that was your ball game. And I'm of the opinion that any time you actually do recover an onside kick, it almost is a miracle. It takes so many things going right to make it happen. It didn't in this case, and they walk off a victor. So for Philadelphia, hey, you get a win.